It would be harder. See, people think it was actually hard to get to the moon. Yes, it was, it was hard, certainly, but it would have been way harder to hoax it. <laughs> <laughs> every single space station flight, every space shuttle flight, all of them are within, what, 400 miles? Easily, yeah. I yeah. mean, space station is two something. Hubble is a little higher, right. about 360. Right, yeah. right. But these miles. are the, right. the only times where human beings have ever been past that was the Apollo pr program. Mm -hmm. So for the conspiracy-minded, of course that comes up. Well, no, you can't survive in deep space. No one's ever done it except some people in the 60s, and no one believes that today. And the reason reason why you can't get out there is because of solar flares and radiation and all this jazz. Yeah, I mean, so, okay, but, you know, science is going to move on right. while you're, you know, arguing that. And so, yeah, that's what we, we, there's a point where you just say, all right, I got to move on. That's the other thing that makes a conspiracy so juicy is that science didn't move on when it came to manned space landings. That was the end. The well, end. And there was this uh, documentary that was uh, all about the different sort of uh, techniques that Kubrick used in 2001. He had changed the way you reshot gigantic scenes mm -hmm. by uh, some new process called Called, uh, it was something about front projection. I think that was basically what, what the, the, the name of the process. And then he showed all the evidence of front projection footage in the moon landings. And again, you're fucked because you're sitting here. And I don't, you know, I'm looking at this. I'm like, okay, well, well who's right? And these are people who have never taken photography. Mm -hmm. All right. If you are exposed for the bright reflective light of the astronauts in the lunar surface, that camera exposure even in the Hasselblads that they carry to the moon and use, is too short to take in the dim light from the stars of the night sky. Photography 101 answers that question. But there right. are huge websites given unto this. Well, certainly with, with things that can be easily explained, like you're you know, talking about the light and the, the, the setting mm -hmm. of the camera. There was all sorts of compelling evidence that was really weird, like uh, photographs from different spots in the moon, but they had the same backdrop. You know, and you know, and using the you know this idea that they had done these inside some gigantic sound studio, and obviously, if you're a, a person who's not scientifically inclined and you're prone to conspiracy theories, guilty of both, and you see something like that, you go, "What the fuck is going on there? Is that really the moon? Are they really jumping around like they're on trampolines? It looks like a guy's getting yanked up by wires on the moon." Um, and then the fact that the uh, the rock that they had given to Holland turned out to be a piece of petrified wood. The the reason why the moon theory is so juicy for people is because there's so much of this stuff that you could point to. Oh well, then okay, well then how about and they yeah. start going down a list and you know I'm, I'm time time to go to dinner. You know I mean right. <laughs> I don't have the energy to fight all of that right but of i just i just teach people sort of how to think about information mm -hmm. and then i walk away and then they they make a life or they vote for whoever they want but they're they're i don't understand what go, what's going on in those minds you ever seen the video of the astronauts on trampolines no no I, here it is uh if you look at like the fuel that was loaded up into the saturn V rocket you can calculate where that fuel could take that rocket it's to the moon and back. <laughs> so it's they're not going to the Piggly Wiggly. That so doesn't mean a person was in it. Uh, an aircraft carrier goes into the Pacific to pick up a, a capsule out of the ocean. Mm -hmm. People get out of the capsule, get on the spacecraft. The president meets them. Life magazine writes profiles. But that's, then, that all, that's all emotional. Well, after, but it all built. I mean, after all, you get to a certain point, I'm just saying it's it kind of builds. Pause. It was almost like a religious thing. My friend called it a technological Jesus. He said, that if you if you if anything is scientific, you should be able to question it, and someone would give you an answer. But there's a, a bit of emotion and attachment and pride with uh, certain historical accomplishments, like one of them being the moon landing, that forbid people from actually questioning. Well, so uh, if a guy hops by a flag and the flag blows in the breeze, what's causing that? Is that a faked footage? Or, pull no, that up. Pull that up. Flag blowing in the breeze. I'll, I'll no, tell you the video it no, is. No. And when he hops in front of it, the flag follows him like it, it goes in the breeze. Here it goes. Can you see it wiggle in the wind? No, I missed. Can, can you do that? Do you had stuff on the screen there. Okay. Fucking ad popped up. Mm-hmm. See that? Looks yeah, like, yeah. It looks like a breeze blew it. Either uh, all of this got faked, and there is air, and the flag is responding to air, or there's something, uh, and, and the whole Apollo 15 mission didn't happen, if you want to take it to an extreme, yeah, that doesn't mean to that, extreme limit. As he jumped, maybe a piece of dust a piece of kicked, something. kicked up and Pre hit it. Uh, precisely. It well, you, like. you have no depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
You do have depth if you watch the it's whole not thing. Good, it's not good depth. And he's got a backpack. Yeah. The argument is that the, uh, the manned space flight is the only thing that hasn't advanced. If you watch these movies from the 1970s, God, there's going to be space stations on the moon. And there was Space 1999. Do you remember that show? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, but the reality is our manned space exploration ended. I'll tell you why. Money. Uh, uh, 